Oh, this is the tasty part of the show. Welcome back to your Carolina, where it is our Ingalls uh, food for thought. And of course, brought to you by Ingalls. We're looking at all kinds of new stuff. Today. Yes, Leah, yes. the dietitian from Ingalls, is here, and you get free food because I, <laughs> that is. That, isn't that great? <laughs> the best job you ever. Know, I'm going to tell you something. No, you I'm bringing you some free food. This is great. We have bowls of stuff. We get to keep. This is the best part of this gig. So tell us what's new at Ingalls because well, there's some yeah. new and improved things. Well, you know, we're seeing more cereals that have a chocolate theme to them, and so I bought brought with me a good one and a better one. Well, when we think chocolate, we think Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. And, the, and count, count chocolate. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, your yeah, yeah, this is Crave. And so this is a chocolate one filled with chocolate. Sounds pretty decadent, but I it's actually it. only 120 calories, yep. three grams of fat, about 10 grams of sugar. So These that's like not the adult bad. Yeah. Of chocolate. But if you had a little ch uh, sugar, like chocolatey craving and you like cereal, not a bad way to go. But better way is the fiber one. This has fewer calories, about 40 fewer calories per serving, same serving size, three quarters of a cup. It has more fiber, about three mm. times as much fiber, oh. and it has about half as much sugar. And a big chocolate oh. taste too. Good, Yummy. Yeah, good, nice, cocoa-y taste to and it. And you put those so. in a Ziploc and give them to the kids in the back seat. There yes. you go, oh, there you go. Yes, or adult, something to munch yes. on at work if you need a little healthy snack. Or just remember, if you do eat it as breakfast and not as a healthy snack, you have chocolate milk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Put some milk. nuts in there, and then you've got a nice little snack for you. The milk turns chocolate. You're drinking you know that cereal milk. Yeah, we know you. <laughs> the next thing is our um, Laura Lynn gluten-free uh, waffles. This is brand new. This is the first time we've had a product that we've deliberately sought out as a gluten-free substitute for something that people would not I love the Laura Lynn right. brand. So this is uh, brand, brand new. And this week, I'm going to give you guys a taste. It has a little bit of syrup on it. Um, this wondering. is brand new. And it's two for five dollars this week. So we're trying to get people aware of it. It's in the frozen food section. It was made with oat flour, but it's a gluten-free tested okay. oat flour. So that's important for people with allergies. Anybody who's it's watching. It's important that. for people who have wheat allergies. It's important for people who have who are on a gluten-free diet. This is something that they can buy and eat safely. And Laura Lynn is the Ingalls brand. Laura Lynn is, is our private label. It's named after Mr. Ingalls' oldest daughter, Laura really? Lynn. Yes. Oh, that's yep. so sweet. Yeah. And, and and good. It tastes yeah. great. Really Something, does. Yeah. Good job. Now this, the next one is summer salts, and I've tried to pick some snacks that you know they have a good taste to them, but they have some nutritional component too. These have fiber in them. They're very low in sugar. This one only has one gram of sugar, so that's really important. This one only has four. This is a salt, salty and pepper, and this one is a Dutch cocoa again with the cocoa. So I say we got one savory choice. Yes. Yeah, so try the okay. savory All one. Right. Okay. So what, this is just a snack? This is with, it has seeds in it, so mm. like a crunchy snack, nice crunch to it, and it's uh, good for okay, you. So instead of grabbing a bag of a greasy chips, chips or something like that, yeah. And I then like we those. have the Dutch cocoa one. Mm. Wow, and looks like, good. And it, it has, again, a and nice, yeah, a nice crunch to it. Right. All right. I like this segment. you got to look yeah. for these labels, too, when you go to Ingalls. Summer salt, a yeah. A lot of times you don't know what's good for you and what tastes good. Well, you also have, there's so many products. you right. got to keep your eyes open for new items, and these are all new things. Those are fantastic. I'm, I'm here to tell you go to Ingalls and grab some of those. That's, that's, that's a good snack. Now, here's another one. This is Izzy's Soda. So many people are trying to get away from drinking regular sodas and looking for alternatives. And this is a sparkling, it's really a sparkling beverage. Um, there's no added sugar to it. It's the sugar that's in it is from the natural fruit juices so there's no not a bunch of chemical stuff right. not a bunch of preservatives has a really nice fresh smell to it, it and it's a grapefruit like, this is grapefruit mm -hmm. I love Izzy I, I yeah I, I'm not one for sodas but if I'm going to get one that's that's what I would grab. make a great mixer for looking for summer drinks kind I was of gonna thing. say you know they do make great grapefruit vodka right yeah and this is 120 <laughs> calories per Wait, bottle have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on, a, on special occasion. Yeah, these are not alcoholic, don't worry. <laughs> no, this is fresh fruit juice. It's yeah. delicious. She said yes. it would so make it's a, a nice mixer. Yeah, 120 <laughs> calories, mm -hmm. so low in calories, um, but about the same as the soda, not terrifically low. But if you wanted to even get lower, what you could do is go for a seltzer water, a flavored seltzer water, and this is a zero-calorie beverage as well, one, um, and you could put a little bit of fruit juice in it, 
and even oh. get lower than this. Put a little bit of maybe grapefruit juice in it, pink right. grapefruit juice, put a little bit of cherry juice in it. And now you've got even lower than 100, uh, 120 calories, probably more like 40 calories. But how calories. many calories do we have in 120. Oh, it's not that bad. No, it's I not guess. that bad. <laughs> it's got a great fruit flavor, and this yeah. is raspberry. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just something looking for something. If you if you love the bubbles but you don't like the calories gotcha. of sodas, then this these are some directions you might want to go. These are great, great suggestions. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Uh, and uh, I was going to say we are getting a Starbucks in the Ingles in uh, Seneca. South oh, Carolina. exciting! Yeah. Oh. Yes, I just I saw where that's a, getting ready oh. to open. So now I you can get your little you. tiny cups there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are taste cups. <laughs> they know it. They know Wait, it. And look for the Laura Lynn brand at Yes, that's right. Exactly. Thank Thanks. you so much. You're it's welcome. called Food for Thought, and I encourage you to follow Leah McGrath on Twitter because she's got all kinds of great yeah, recipes and food ideas. Really appreciate Thanks, Ingles Kimberly. having a dietitian on board. Uh, let's see. We have a question, question of the day. Of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, are you keeping some old, old love letters at home? Are you keeping a, a memory or a pimento of someone you used Did to you love. Did you say a pimento or a pimento? Yes. <laughs> That's a Jack Roper joke. It is. <laughs> I totally ripped him off, but he's under anesthesia right now. So, so he, won't, he won't know. We're coming back to find out what, if she's got an old love letters. Mm, maybe he has some. <laughs>